Oh Elizabeth, my darling. I am so glad you agreed to meet with me. Well spit it out Albert, I have high tea at noon. Oh, those old hags won't start without you and you know it. I have something important to tell you. Do you take me for an American? I gathered as much when you insisted on this private meeting. So, out with it. Well you see Elizabeth, I have been conducting some thorough research and analysis on something lately and I thought I should share the results with you. Oh Albert, you know I grow bored of your science chatter. Yes I know, but this involves you. Oh really? How so? Well you see, I have been having these strange feelings lately every time I am around you. I can't explain it really. It's sort of like nausea mixed with joy mixed with more nausea. Science is a rather revolting field, isn't it? I began conducting experiments on myself to see if I could recreate the feeling, so I could determine the cause. What sort of experiments? Well, I took a bath in a tub of raw meat, scared a couple of children and ran through Trafalgar Square completely barefoot. You know, the usual. And what were your findings on these experiments? Well, I discovered that I rather enjoyed the absence of socks. You are a strange breed. Anything else? Why, as a matter of fact, yes. I deduced that though each of the experiments brought forth different feelings, none of them matched what I feel when I am with you. And what is that exactly? Well, after careful deductive reasoning, I have come to the one and only conclusion that I can come to. It's love, Elizabeth. I believe I am in love with you. Bloody hell, Albert. What is this tosh you are spewing? You cannot love me. You were my best friend and never failed to amuse me, however you are simply not of the correct bloodline. Oh I see. I thought you were different Elizabeth. But I see clearly now. It's all relative.